Hey there, friends. I'm Graham, and this, well, this is not the library or the theater. No, I'm in the car right now. Uh, I am in, well, I'm not in. I'm on my way to being in Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm doing something a little special today. I am going to take you guys along for a little uh, up and close and, and personal um, look at this Barnes & Noble. This is uh, We're in Spokane Valley, Washington right now. And this Barnes & Noble here was um, uh, kind of remodeled and redone uh, just about two or three months ago. So I'm going to take you in. I'm going to show you what they, they've got. They used to have this huge section of uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks, and, and now it's it's a real small section. But uh, I'm going to take you in, and, and, um, and we'll, we'll kind of just see what all there is and what we can find. And, uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's, let's go in and let's check out Barnes & Noble. Thank you very much. All right, so we're gonna walk to the back of the store today. All the way in the back, hidden in this little corner. First thing I see right off the top here is a bunch of Doctor Who uh, series and episodes and specials and all kinds of stuff. I already own all of those. All right, so we've got a little section over here. Looks like a bunch of Harry Potters and just a bunch of stuff that Eh, nothing that's grabbing my attention right off. Drama here. Some comedy. Check this out. All right. And what's this? Oh, yeah. A little Shop of Horrors. I already own that. That's a good one, though. Not bad. Some of these um, have, you know, they're marked down. American Graffiti is good. Uh, marked down 30% uh, off. Some of them aren't. But the prices are still outrageous. I kept looking at that Top Gun right there, Maverick. It's only got the Blu-ray digital. Uh, this is a cool steel book there for Indiana Jones. But uh, the selection here is really limited. There's a whole lot of nothing here. When they first turned over this area and uh, they, it had a lot more stuff, it doesn't look like the inventory has been really filled out. There's just a lot of commons. Oh, this one is cool. I, I was really tempted to grab that, but not for 40 bucks. And uh, E.T. It's pretty cool. They got Dune sitting right there behind it. So a lot of cool stuff. Just most of it is either I already own it or not interested or the price is just way too high. So I was checking down here some of these uh, Arrow videos. Again, those are like 40 bucks each. It's insane. Some more Doctor Who. So, yeah, I'm just kind of looking around, looking at all this kind of stuff. I, I I wish I could afford to buy more of these, but, you know, even, you know, 30% off, you know, on something that's 40 bucks or 50 bucks is still, that's still a lot of money to be dropping. And then, of course, the Criterion uh, collection stuff. That Malcolm X there... Um, has caught my eye a couple times. I'm really tempted. I'll probably grab that at a uh, Criterion sale. Got one coming up, I believe, in July. Now, this is the MAGA section they have. It's a pretty large uh, MAGA section. Um, lots and lots and lots of, of books in here. This is pretty cool. I uh, was looking around, and I noticed uh, over here on the other side, there's, uh, there's a bunch of, like, pop and a bunch of toys and stuff like that which is kind of cool I don't personally collect uh, these uh, pop figures but they're kind of cool they, they catch your attention some of them are really unique and interesting I don't know what the heck those were some cards and, and more stuff here but uh, yeah some of you guys like these things I just don't see the fascination honestly but I do like the books. I like um, I like reading a lot of the the uh, MAGA stuff. This is what really caught my eye. This is uh, grabbed my attention. Of course, I like the visual arts as far as like movies and that kind of stuff. So they had a lot of specialty like steel books and that kind of stuff of some of these 
um, series and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, thinking about grabbing a few of them. But the prices, like I said, you know, forty-five bucks, uh, fifty-four dollars. I mean, some of these prices were really up there. And you know, when you're on a budget and you're only allowed to spend so much, you know. But, yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. Yeah, I saw there's a few of these steel books down at the bottom here. These are really interesting. Very well done. I like the sheen on them too. Um, they really have kind of this glossy sheen to them. Very interesting. So, yep, I uh, I found a bunch of this stuff. There's more of these action figures and collectibles and that kind of stuff. I found these around the other corner. Some of these are really cool. I don't know anything about. Uh, there's Dragon Ball Z though. I don't know anything about a lot of these. I'm just not into and up on a lot of my anime and and that kind of thing. I should uh, I should get more into it. It, it is really interesting and. Then, a lot of great storylines and that kind of stuff in here. All right. Well, not much in there. I have no bag in my hand. Uh, pretty empty. Most of the stuff that's in there is pretty common, and I pretty much either have no interest in or... Yeah. So... That's kind of the thing around here. Barnes & Noble, you... Uh, there's not a whole lot now they've remodeled. And then uh, over here across the street, you can see Best Buy. Well, Best Buy doesn't even have any physical media whatsoever. So that's kind of lame -o. But whatever. I mean, let's be honest, it is what it is. So kind of the way the world works now physical media is kind of non-existent unfortunately they had a few things in there that had some interest uh, especially like the manga stuff and anime that kind of thing it was kind of cool uh i don't know i i pretty much like i said have a lot of it the prices are kind of outrageous when you pay 35 to 40 bucks for something that's been out for a couple of years it makes you go uh I don't know. <laughs> um, and I'm not a huge... I mean, I, I've got Criterion, and um, I don't have any Arrow video that I'm aware of in my collection, uh, just because I haven't I just haven't dived into that. I plan on going more of that boutique-y style of direction eventually here, but the cost is outrageous. I, I just don't have that kind of money to spend. Most of y'all know I'm a thrift store guy, so if I find it in the thrift store or garage sale... Um, something like that. I'm good, but boutique stuff, man, boutique stuff I, I like. I just don't have a whole lot of money for. But anyways, um, I do want to show you uh, something that I did get. Um, let me see if I can uh, move the camera around without blocking you. Uh, something I did get the other day. I got it at, uh, oh, where did I go? A dollar, or no, not Dollar General. Is it Dollar General? Family General? Dollar General. I think it's Dollar General. Um, I found Kid and Play Class Act. I uh, found this, and um, this is kind of cool. Um, I, uh, I didn't have this one in my collection. I have almost everything. I think I have everything now, or almost everything uh, that Kid and Play did, but uh, I'm really kind of curious to watch this and see how this goes. And I also picked this up um, yesterday at Second Look Books in Spokane, uh, up on uh, 29th and Regal, I think is what it is, um, at um, five bucks. That was not bad price. Uh, Doctor Who uh, Hunter's Moon uh, novel. Uh, as you guys know, I collect um, Doctor Who novels. It's a little bit uh, newer than what I'm used to, but I was like, you know what? I'll grab it and I'll give it a read. Um, when it comes to Doctor Who, I'm just, oh, I'm all on board here. Oh, and for uh, some fun, fun stuff, I just got this recently too from GameStop. It was on sale at 50% uh, off. So I think I paid, I think I only paid like six bucks for this. Um, Star Wars, The Mandalorian. It's a, a fig pin of Luke Skywalker. This thing is really cool. I'd like to get some more. It's in a display case, but it is kind of a pin that you could put on your lapel or a jacket or whatever. Really big, but really kind of cool. So I really, 
I really dig that. I thought that was kind of cool. So I got that as well. So um, I, I've been buying cool stuff recently. Just, well, as you know, I have showed you guys a bunch of stuff. Uh, but uh, at Barnes & Noble, I, I didn't, when I went in, I didn't think I was going to be able to find much. Uh, there's a few things in there, but uh, I don't know if I want to pay their prices. Their prices are pretty high. Full retail price is kind of hard to, to do when... You know, if you wait a few months, some of that stuff comes down. But anyways, without further ado, you guys, I want to just say thank you so much for hanging with me. I know it's a little more of a simpler video today. No intro or nothing like that. Uh, just a bunch of clips put together. But uh, if you're new to my channel, I want to um, I want to invite you to uh, hit that subscribe button. Of course, comment down below. Uh, did you see anything uh, on the shelves there that, that you would have grabbed that you thought was great? Anything I should go back and pick up? Uh, that would be awesome. And uh, until tomorrow, you guys, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and bye for now.